Right then, welcome back. Uh, today, well, we're not going to go and play on a 2014 Street 6675R at all. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a comparison between Ride 5 and Ride 4. Or should that be Ride 4 and Ride 5? I'm not sure. Um, so far, it's not good. It's really, really, really not good. Um, ride 4 on the left, Ride 5 on the right, Alton Park Fosters, one lap. Same bike, same year, same mods. However, they go about their business slightly differently. So a 55.523 for Ride 4 and a 58.593 for Ride 5. Same bikes, completely different ratings. The Ride 5 bike is 88 performance points less than the bike on Ride 4. Now they may have adjusted the scales because there's no or very few so far really low powered bikes like, um, like 125s and 300s. Yeah, there's 250, 250 cc two strokes, but hmm. They're a little bit quicker, aren't they? Uh, even the replays. Uh, ride 4 wasn't perfect. That's not what this is all about. Um, me saying, oh, Ride 4 is better, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying that at all. As a game, I think Ride 5 is better. It's more modern, it's crisper, although there are issues with the graphics and the meshing and everything else, which we'll look at right there. Yes, headlights through your helmet, sir. Not a problem. Play Ride 5. Um, I... <sighs> I don't just want a game, and not a lot of people don't just want a game. They want a motorcycle racing game, a, not a motorcycle simulator, impossible. Because we had a couple of people commented on videos and said, yeah, but it's not a simulator, is it? Because you don't have a camera stuck 20 feet behind. Yeah, you're right, you don't. You also don't ride a motorcycle with an Xbox or PlayStation controller. You have about seven or eight different points of input using both feet, all your hands, visual, audible, it's impossible. At present, I believe, I have someone to prove me wrong, um, for someone to make a motorcycle simulator is very much more difficult than is a car. You can't just make a steering wheel and off we go, set handlebars and a throttle, just won't work. Um, even like the replays, Ride 4, it was just more authentic. You knew if somebody was pushing, you could see from the replay that that bike was on the absolute edge, and you knew that because of the feedback you get through the controller. Ride 5 doesn't do that absolutely does not do that it is just a motorbike game it's akin to road rash or any other the the crew or whatever other bike uh, games have got bikes in um it's just about riding and collecting motorbikes there's no detail the physics engine's a mess an absolute mess and again someone else commented and said yeah but you can't just blame the devs well i can because who else am i going to blame who, who else gets the blame for a shit game other than the developers? What, the rabbits? The kittens? The Lannisters? No, the developers. All they've done is take a very good motorcycle game, remove every single thing about it that appealed to genuine motorcycle enthusiasts, and they've aimed it, and you know what I'm going to say, they've aimed it at YouTubers and fanboys. Look at this Ride 5, it's awesome. No, it's not, it's shit. £95, absolutely pissed down the drain that I'll never get back yes I'm gonna go into it I, I can't I, I wasted money on MotoGP 22 I wasted money on World Superbike and I've not learned my lesson I've bought another milestone game that's utter garbage um, it's just it's just no good as a motorcycle game as a game to play absolutely not a problem not a problem at all and yet what's the difference well would you rather play Ratchet and Clank, or would you rather play a proper shooter? 
would you rather play Road Rash or would you rather play Ride 4? Because I know what I'd rather play. I'd rather play the more authentic game. And that's exactly what Ride 4 was. It was authentic, the feedback mechanism, the way the bikes behaved. Yes, the physics were a little bit squiffy and it took a couple of updates to sort it out. But you know what, in the end, it was very, very consistent. You knew where you were. You knew if you were boiling a tire up, you knew what to do. If you changed the compound of the tires, you knew that a medium was gonna last longer and be harder to get heat into than a soft and so on and so forth through to hards. Wets would absolutely melt on a reasonably powerful bike on a drying track, but it was fun. And that is exactly what they do. Soft tires and everything so far on Ride 5. Fire blades, soft tire. No problem. Street triple, soft tyre, no problem. No way. I, just, no. Like, not... I don't want to just say ruined, because it's only just come out, and... I mean, the patch. If you saw the patch details the other day, disgusting. Details on the patch. Minor fixes, changes to leaderboard. Yeah, but what? What minor fixes? What changes to leaderboard? Nobody knows. Anyway, I'm done. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, liking, subscribing. Fingers crossed. I'll see you next time. Take care, stay safe, peace.